Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome to today's episode, the finale of our Town Hall 13 Farm 2 Max. I can't even believe it, at least until Supercell gives us a new update, which I'm pretty sure is, uh... It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen eventually, if not sooner, rather than later. Yes, guys, we've got one defense to go, and it is the stinking mortar. Went ahead and saved it. It's the, the geared up mortar that's sitting over here next to the uh, fancy little obstacles out here. But yeah, so this final mortar is the last defense that needs to be upgraded. It is, as you saw last time, 11.6 million gold. And I don't have anywhere near enough in my storage now i do have quite a bit in my treasury actually uh so we're really ooh, wow let me let me just collect that and whoa <laughs> wow okay i started the video expecting to have to buy the gold because i know i said last episode i needed to farm it because i just felt like i needed to but i just i've had a very busy season and i didn't uh didn't expect but i've got loads of loot in the treasury dude all right dude we're good we just have to get loot in one more raid of course i'll do two today don't worry uh but uh one more raid and then bro we are golden we can go ahead and finish up this base and be 100 percent completely maxed out which i'm super excited about guys super excited about indeed but Guys, let me just remind you guys that you need to like the video and subscribe, okay? Join the class family for daily gaming videos. And at the perfect moment, actually, I started that pitch a little late, but that's okay. Because we found a base with over half a million gold. Let's smack it. First of all, let me look for a second. We got two gold storages on either side here. We got uh, one right there. Where's the fourth gold storage? I feel like, oh, it's on the left. Okay, so basically we need a three-star to get all the gold. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna try to do that. All right, so first of all, Warden, just get up in there, sir. And what's so great about this little compartment is I'm pretty sure that uh, this is gonna create an epic funnel. Okay, that's gonna be number one. We're gonna make an epic funnel. Secondly, we're going to, well, we're probably, yeah, I was about to say, we're probably about to find some Teslas. All right, Teslas are a big deal. So let's go ahead and we're gonna send in the rest of the balloons. Look at that, there's the other Tesla right there. And it looks like, yep, there's no seeking your mines. So this warden will probably decide to, you know, skid off on the left. So let's go ahead and send in that down in there. And then what do we wanna do, guys? Do we wanna jump? I think we wanna, I think we wanna jump. Yeah, 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 we're gonna jump. King, queen, royal champion. We're gonna get the yetis and the bowlers. There we go. Baby dragon out on the side. Drop a rage spell up in there, and then also I really would like to quad quake. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quad quake poison warden's ability. Pop that king's ability, and that town hall is so so donezo. Oh yeah, donezo for shunzo. Let's pop that royal, uh, royal champion's ability as well, and I'm gonna rage on through the backside of this base. Oh yeah, dude, it's 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 on like Donkey Kong for shang. Let's go. So, ooh, and giant bombs. Queen pops her ability, so we're gonna be able to get the rest of whatever's in there. Uh, the problem, though, is the scatter shot. The scatter shot's gonna prove to be a really big pain. Um, I'd like to, dang it, I want a wall breaker into this base, but it's gonna be a real big pain. It's gonna be a really big pain. Let's get the arches over here, too. And what I'm really hoping for, yeah, yeah, everybody turn around now. Yetis, you don't care, no. Stupid yetis. All right, wall breakers, just break in here. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I want this uh, scatter shot to go down. It's really distracted right now on this warden, which is perfect. I've got nothing left, guys. Really, we're just sitting and waiting at this point. The warden is doing a lot of work, though, which is perfect because he's got a crazy range. So he's gonna be able to shoot down a lot of stuff that really can't even reach him. And there's not a lot left that's defending this base. Majek said we got a couple of Yeti on this side. Their Yeti mites should be able to gang up on these defenses over here. This warden is going to. Uh, allow a couple more Yeti to come in on this side and remember the focus was the gold storages and there it is right flipping there oh this is perfect I think that we just got the three star I think that we just got the three star and this was the last raid that I needed to max my base so kind of awesome that we're gonna build a triple or ooh are we about to run out of time dude I think we're about to run out of time no the clock is the enemy dang it Dang it. All right. Well, um, I'm going to still feel good knowing that if I had I had an unlimited clock, 
this would have been a triple, all right? I'm gonna feel good knowing that I got a 95%, 96% two star as my final raid before maxing. And I uh, could have three starred had I just had a few more seconds. So that's cool, right? How many How many of you guys have ever had that happen? Pretty sure everybody has had that happen before. It's like, dang it, if only they hadn't just decided to quit at the three minute mark. Why didn't they just keep pushing? Well, it makes sense, I guess, from a game standpoint, From but, but from logically, it's kind of upsetting. The, the fact that they all just quit and go home, right? Anyway, let's um, bounce out. And now I've, I've got another army, which um, I'm going to have to... I got no heroes, dude. Oh, this 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 next raid is going to be really rough. Maybe I can find like a dead tunnel 11 with some a decent amount of loot. Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be amazing. All right. Um, I've got one more thing. Thank you, Ethan, for the Yetis and the raid spell. And Armchair General, shout out to you, my man. The Godfather himself for the, um, what is that called again? A Valkyrie. <laughs> anyway, let's go, man. Let's do this. Let's go try to find a base. Again, no king, no queen, no royal champion, and no problem. We're going to dominate this base, whatever base it may be. That had a lot of loot, but I have no confidence in this situation that I'm in. Hey, so, hey, it doesn't even matter. The loot doesn't really even matter. What matters right now is can we get a two-star? Okay, that's what I'm, I'm aiming for, a two-star. If I've got no heroes, a two-star would, would be plenty, right? So this is like the type of base where I could probably get in, but the funnel would be incredibly difficult. How cool would it be? Oh, I was about to say, how cool would it be to find one of those bases with the town hall off to the side? There you go. All right, so the goal here is to at least get a two-star, all right? Can we do it? Uh, all right, let's try it. All right, so Warden, get up in there, buddy. There we go. I'm just going to scatter some balloons around here. There we go. There's a Seeking Air Mine. Uh, balloons kind of making their way across right now. I'm actually going to send in an early uh, an early jump. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, I just I was, I was looking for my um, was looking for my king there for a second. All right. And then Siege Barracks. You know what? I'm going to save it just for now. It's actually Rage. And then I'm going to Quad Quake through there. And it did, in fact, damage the town hall. Or, I'm sorry, the, the yeah, the uh, quad quake damaged the town hall. So that worked out nicely. So, um, now, yeah, so I've got the rage spell on, I've got the rage, and I got the poison. I'm just gonna kind of just see where the troops come out on the other end. That's kind of the plan right now. Right there, boom. Get that rage spell in there. Come on, yetis. Get up in there. All right, baby dragon. What, what can we use the baby dragon on? Oh, the stupid Edrak survived. Oh, no. Dang it! Well, we got the one star, uh, but I'm not too sure about the two. Oh, the E-Drag is killing my healers. That was so bad. All right, I'm going to bait and switch this baby. First of all, this uh, Grand Warden, he's going to get some work done. Get that expo, buddy. Get that expo. You did good. Good job. Good job. Good try. That was awesome. All right, so wh here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring over the E-Drag, okay? We're going to bring that E-Drag over. And then I'm going to use a baby dragon to kill the E-Drag. Oh, it's going to be glorious. All right, so first of all, watch this. E-Drag shows up. Throw down the baby. All right. Baby dragon is going to start damaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, wizard. Yeah, wizard. Yeah, wizard. Oh, we got him. Nice. All right, that was a victory in itself, right? Uh, let's get an archer over here. And now we just need to start. Oh, I've got... Dang it. I've got no time. I've got no time. And I've got... A lot of percentage points that I need. I need to start picking off percentage points. What can I do, man? What can I do? I can probably... Yeah, I can get that army camp out there. But what about the wizard over here? Should I use it to back up this troop or uh, this group over here? Maybe I can use it for distraction purposes. Here, let's just put this wall breakers down here in case there's any, like, s s traps of any kind. And now I'm kind of waiting on... Actually, I could probably... Yeah, I can get that wizard to get this army camp down. There we go. Enemy King is going to be a problem. Uh, come on. Yes. Valkyrie and Pekka. OP. That was amazing. Um, come on, wizard. You got this. Okay. <laughs> 40%. You guys got this. Come on. The archer over there has got this. Oh, we're at 45. We can go... F oh, why, Yeti? Why would you work on the wall, you dingus? All right. Well, game over. Um, wizard, just go ahead and get the army camp, buddy. You got this. That's going to be 46%. And then this one over here, if we had time, it would be 47%. And the wizard got shot down. Dang, man. We got so close to 50%. That was gnarly, bro. 
That was gnarly. That is why we want our heroes. Of course, the loot was really good. I'm impressed. I wasn't paying attention to the loot at all, but that worked out nicely. All right, guys. So, so we struggled through. We barely, barely failed. All right. I'm, I'm just saying this barely failed. Excuse me. My back needs, ah, I've been playing basketball. My back's killing me. Um, yeah. So guys, dang it. Got so close, right? So close to that two star, but it really doesn't matter. If we really think hard about it, it doesn't matter because we're about to upgrade the final defense of channel 13 farm to max for a while or a minute. We'll see. Supercell's probably watching this video going, all right, did he click the button? He did. Release the update. Uh, that's just what seems to always happen. So let's go into my progress base, guys. And yep, that is confirmed. The final defense of our Town Hall 13 farm to max. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go in three, two, one, bam. Very, very nice so guys that is actually gonna have to do it for me today in this episode of our farm to max we finished it it's it, we moved this baby across put it in its spot oh that was satisfying right that was very very satisfying indeed i i like that anytime i can fill in a spot with some maxed stuff that is what is up i freaking love it all right so guys now that my tunnel 13 is maxed, what's next? What's next? I mean, I've, I've finally finished again. It feels like it took me it took me like half a year or longer to finish out my tunnel 13 again after several updates. So now that we're in this position where we actually got a max base, what do we do next? Well, I think we go back to Legend League. I think that's what we do. So the next, the 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 foreseeable future of our tunnel 13 base. Is pushing in Legend League and I would love to get back up in there I would love to try my very best to make it as high as I possibly can so uh, guys that's gonna have to do it for me for today I'm not gonna make it to Legend League today I've got 400 337 trophies to go as you can see so we got we have a ways to go and I've spent some time in Legend League but it's been a while actually well wow. last time yeah last time I was in Legend League was in March and uh, it is now June so yeah it's been a while <laughs> And that reminds me, guys, today's video was dedicated to my boy, Killer Manjur. He is the admin of my Discord server, but the reason why today's video is dedicated to him is because he actually got a trivia question right in one of my DLive streams. And I've actually got several winners from DLive trivia questions. So if that sounds like fun and if you like to get a trivia question right and have a video dedicated to you, then definitely check out the DLive streams. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, the link can be found down below in the description. So shout out to once again, Killer Manager. And that's all for me today. Like this video if you liked it, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you haven't already for daily gaming videos, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can see one of the videos as soon as they come out. But remember that the members get early access, 24 hours. So if you want to get early access and ad free viewing, check out the link in the description to become a member. It only costs two bucks a month. Also, don't forget to support your favorite content creator, whoever it may be, using the creator code. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. I've got a link for you down below in the description. But remember that if you put in the code, it automatically, not an automatic, I guess it does automatically expire after seven days. That, that, that wording works. It expires after seven days, so you always want to double check before you make any in-game purchases, whether that's gold pass or whatever. So here's how you do that. You go to your gears button, go to more settings, and go under to creator boost. As you can see, at under supported creator, mine's blank. So I'm gonna go and enter code and code Klaus for demonstration purposes only. So there you go. Now that you know how to do that, you are golden and good to go. And by the way, your support means so much to us as content creators. It makes such a difference. You are all such a blessing. So please be sure and support somebody. Again, it doesn't matter who it is, as long as you do it. That's what matters to me. So guys, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.